This is the Sony 16 to 25 millimeter f2.8 G series lens, a versatile, fast, compact zoom for anyone looking for a travel, landscape, or vlogging lens. I've had the opportunity to test out this lens for a couple of weeks, and in this video, I'll dive into the key features and I'll show you how I've been using it. Before we do that, let's get into the basics of what this lens has to offer. The first thing you might notice is the size, and for an f2.8 zoom lens, it's very compact. It weighs in at only 409 grams or just under a pound. Paired up with my Alpha 7 CR, it just feels nice and balanced in my hands. That f2.8 aperture is comprised of 11 blades, which help to create beautiful bokeh that Sony G and G Master lenses are known for. Inside of the lens, there's 16 elements in 13 groups, which yields image quality comparable to the original 16 to 35 f2.8 G Master. Those lens elements are moved around by two linear motors that gives you fast, quiet, low vibration focusing that is great for shooting videos or for use when you're tracking moving subjects. You can even use this lens with the Alpha 9 3's 120 frame per second burst or use it to track when you're using its 4K 120p video mode. I'll test the video features for you shortly. Now, while this isn't a macro lens, it does have a fantastic close-up focusing performance. Here's the minimum focusing distance at 16 millimeters. This is the minimum focusing distance at 25 millimeters. As you can see, the lens can get really close to whatever it is that you're shooting, and it can still get things sharp and in focus. Speaking of the minimum focusing distance of this lens, we're going to go off topic for a bit and talk about the focus breathing performance of this lens. As I was testing out how close I could get to things and get things in focus, I happened to test out the focus breathing on this lens, and I was impressed. Check out this demo so you could see what I'm talking about. This is at 16 millimeters, and keep in mind that this is with focus breathing compensation turned off. To my eyes, it does an amazing job keeping things under control. Now, here it is at 25 millimeters, and again, the performance here is excellent. For my needs, this looks good, and for even better results, you can, of course, turn on focus breathing compensation if you're using a compatible Alpha Series camera. Here's what it looks like at those same focal lengths with breathing compensation turned on. Now let's take a look at the outside of the lens. The design gives you a lot of controls compared to other lenses in this category. Of course, there is a zoom and a focus ring, and you'll also notice that it has an aperture ring that could be declicked, as well as a focus mode switch and a customizable focus hold button. The 16 to 25 millimeter f2.8 G lens is also dust and moisture resistant, and it has a fluorine front element that helps to repel things like water and dirt. You'll notice as well that when I zoom in from 16 millimeters to 25 millimeters, that the lens doesn't extend all that much. Sony did a great job making sure that this lens was balanced well, so much so that you could have this on a gimbal and you could zoom throughout the range without throwing off the balance of the gimbal. I think this is going to be something that video shooters are going to love. Here we are now with the Alpha 9 III set to 4K 120p on a gimbal and again, you'll see that the tracking performance even at f2.8 is excellent. This lens pairs up nicely with any Alpha series camera, but I've fallen in love with how nice it feels on the compact Alpha 7 CR. It's truly a match made in heaven and it could easily become a great option as an everyday carry lens. Pricing and availability will be linked in the description of this video, and if you have any other questions about it, let me know in the comment section. Also, Sony recently announced another lens that pairs up really nicely with this one, the 24 to 50 millimeter f2.8 G. I made a video about this combination that you could check out right away. Click on the video that you see here on the screen, and I'll see you over there.